Hey, what's up guys? Um, so last day trading in uh, Western Japan going to Okinawa tomorrow So we'll see um, how the internet holds up over there um, Two trades today uh, Or two stocks that I played uh, DLTH and boot um, total of 296 uh, Commission of 2450 and 20 tick 20 tickets taken um, so there wasn't really a lot of good stuff on my watch list today. I think both of these came uh, on my gappers after the pre-market. Pre-market was pretty weak. I got some uh, weak stuff like trough or CRBP, uh, small cap, low float stocks. I don't like to play those. Can't get consistent results with them. Uh, people who like to gamble can. Um, so up to them. It's not for me. Um, so DLTH has this gap down. Um, so um, I was a little bullish on this, uh, but that's not the real reason why I went long. Um, the real reason I went long is I saw on the 15 minute um, huge engulfing pattern, another huge one, it dipped down to here both, held the level and it pops up. So I was very bullish on that. Uh, five minute, this is how it looks like. Um, so I, I did get stopped out initially, so I went long. Uh, it felt, it dropped on me, so um, I had a loss, but I more than made up for the loss. And this is what I did. So on the, so this is how it looks like on a five minute. Uh, very positive sign is the fact that it's above this uh, SMA. And um, when it's above an SMA, um, for me, I set my SMA to be, very long term, um, 50 or 200 day average. So those are very strong levels. So when it's above this, I feel very confident, even though it has this long wick, long wick, but it's above this. One minute tells a, tells another story that confirms the same thing. Um, so trending up, I thought it was gonna continue, went long, it did go up a bit, I didn't sell out, dropped, uh, immediately I exited. Um, I wanna keep my losses small. Uh, I saw that it tried to drop, then held this level, pop back up. On the next drop, I add it. Um, on the way up, I add it. So a thousand shares total. It did kind of drop on me, but that was fine. Um, I, I was going to stop out if it fell like somewhere, you know, near the VWAP level or whatnot, um, or maybe below it. Um, cause it has the VWAP and then it has this other level. So I feel kind of confident about this. Um, and then it popped on me, so I started scaling out. Um, and uh, hmm, I don't know what happened to my uh, other levels. This is interesting. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking about another stock, but anyway. Popped up, sold out, um, and then eventually it sort of uh, chopped people up here, and then it dropped. So I got out. That was a quick scalp. Uh, maybe I was thinking about boot. No, maybe I'm seeing things then. It is kind of late here. <sighs> All right, so boot. Um, for boot, daily level, it gapped up. I was bearish on this. It wants to fill the gap, 15 minute. Um, you see that it is basically holding this level pretty well. It popped up, couldn't hold it. Um, so I figured since it kept up, it's due for a drop. Um, so um, I was bearish on this. Uh, five minute. Uh, very similar. Um, it went up, I went short, popped up, couldn't hold this level on the way down, added to it, uh, and then it dropped. I think it is the one minute. So. Oh God, I don't know why my uh, one minute charts are all screwed up. But part of the reason for that is because there's an SMA level that it crossed. So I swear to God, there was an SMA level here. I don't know why my SMA, maybe. No, it's supposed to show up. But anyway, so basically at this point, there's an SMA that it should have shown up here. I don't know why my SMAs are gone. Anyway, uh, so there's actually an SMA level here. These EMAs, they crossed it. Um, so I went short, couldn't really break up. This is only a small position, 500 shares, on the way down, added to it. Uh, it was chopping, but what gave me confidence is number one, these um, blocks, 
got increasingly smaller and they never like both on the level two and on this they consolidate around this band okay and didn't break out of it that would be my loss uh, my stop loss would have been if it broke out of that band it pretty much stayed within the band um and then they kept getting smaller and smaller and then it dropped i didn't cover on this drop uh, i should have covered some but it just dropped so quickly i didn't have time to uh popped up but it didn't break this level so i watched it sort of seesaw back and forth um and then i knew that it was going to drop it looks like the emas were going to cross the sma so i held it um right as it was crossing uh i took out 200 shares on the way down I took 200 on the way pop up i keep taking away 200 and then I had 100 shares left. I want to see how far I can go. Um, and then it kind of got stuck at that level. So I took half of that out. And then on the way back up, I just took the remainder out. So that's how I did it. I'm um, sorry. I don't know why my SMAs are not showing up here. They were showing up and I used those um, for my advantage. And that's another reason why I didn't do DLTH again is because this, uh, the SMAs there were pretty uh, crazy. It, basically, after it did what it did here, um, after this level, uh, it sort of got stuck between a bunch of SMAs. So um, that's why I stopped playing this stock is because there's an SMA here. And I think there's another SMA level down here somewhere that is now gone. But um, it, it was chopping between those two. I didn't want no part of it. Um, so that's why. Uh, anyway... Um, Thanks for watching this clip. Um, probably rambling. It's late here. But, uh, you know, um, it's one of those things where you just have to keep doing it, keep practicing it. Um, nothing comes easy, uh, but you got to keep hustling. I am. I'm corn corn on vacation, but I'm hustling because anything that has to do with yourself, you're building upon your own skill sets making yourself a better person day after day. Um, you should do it every day consistently, um, no days off. If it's work and you're working for someone else, well, you know what? If you're learning a skill, great. If you're not, fuck it. Focus on yourself, uh, work, money, whatever. That comes afterwards. It's about bettering yourself, uh, having some skill sets that can help sustain you and help you grow and improve in life. That's the key. Um, that's why I'm doing this, so that I'm not beholden to anyone. If they let me go, if I don't like the situation, whatever, I don't give a fuck. I can get out. I can do whatever I want to because at least I still have an income source. So it's all about being free and being your own person and being able to live and uphold your beliefs, morals, principles, whatever. Um because you don't have to worry about a paycheck. So that's really the key. Um, fortunate enough that, um, you know, ran into uh, Andrew Aziz's uh, books and, and his uh, chat group and all that. Um, so I've been learning from that guy. Uh, always a motivation. Um, check him out. You can just look up his uh, book on Amazon and so forth. But um, nonetheless, reading a book is not going to help you unless you put in the effort to um, do this day in day out it's stressful I mean it's your own money you can fucking lose it all well you shouldn't lose it all but you can lose it all um, and so um, but you know what at the end of the day life's a gamble life's a risk so you have to work at it like everything else any skill set that's worthwhile it's gonna be hard to master but anyway I'm going to check out here. Peace, y'all. Yeah.